What's up dudes and dudes, it's the internet, my name's Seth, and today we're going to be talking about the Trove to Trove, best methods to get yourself some pumpkins and some candy corn. So first and foremost, I just want to say that I made a little bit of a mistake on my recent Shadows Eve 2017 event video, because I talked about how uh, in the event it specifically said that there was going to be dungeons out in the uh, worlds that were going to be able to drop pumpkins, uh, not realizing that it wasn't actually talking about the pumpkin dungeons themselves, because those bad boys drop candy corn and I'll show you those in a minute uh, the game was actually referring to this right here which is a rare dungeon you can see spawn in the cursed uh, uh, cursed biome so what you're gonna be doing is of course just going into the cursed adventure portal uh, and then just searching around hopefully you can end up finding one of these things because it's only gonna spawn in undead uh, and what it's going to essentially do you can see this one's already been completely farmed out but it's gonna have tons and tons of pumpkins all around it uh, just absolutely crazy amounts of pumpkins it is in in fact going to be uh, governed by the harvesting stat so on Monday if you end up finding these bad boys and searching them up like crazy you're gonna get 20% uh, increased in the harvesting amounts for free-to-play players 40% for patron users uh, and then the other method to actually getting yourselves pumpkins is a little bit crazy because it involves some gardening so head on over to the gardening bench right here and then all the way down in the botanist which is a completely maxed out gardening profession uh, there's gonna be pumpkin seeds right down here these things will only grow during the fall season uh, and they also sprout in four hours so it takes this amount of resources to create 10 seeds at a time but that said the seed itself is going to end up growing into one pumpkin but then when you actually destroy it you're going to end up getting more than one pumpkin and again these are going to end up being affected by the harvesting stat on Monday so if you do actually go for the gardening uh, and try to start planting all these wait until Monday before you end up harvesting them so that you can optimize the amount of pumpkins you're going to end up getting. So pretty much if you don't have maxed out gardening, you're either going to end up buying pumpkins from the market or you're gonna have to go to the Cursed Veil uh, in order to actually farm those dungeons, which are pretty rare because of the fact, like uh, I, I didn't have any luck getting uh, any of them to generate anyways, because in my Shadows Eve event video, I searched for like over an hour in a curse veil trying to find out whether or not that dungeon ended up actually spawning. I couldn't find it, so that's why I just naturally assumed in that video and said that there was no dungeons that drop pumpkin pumpkins. So I just wanted to clear that up that yes, that dungeon does actually exist in the curse veil. It's just kind of random whether or not you see it or not. Then there's gonna be two methods to get yourself some candy corn. There's gonna be these giant pumpkin dungeons, which are gonna generate in every biome, so you don't gotta worry about going to a specific world or anything. Uh, there usually is going to end up being a purple portal generated at the front of the dungeon, which is gonna warp you to the top. Then you go into the stem and then you kind of walk through a zigzag path back and forth to get to the dungeon boss or you can just use your dragons or bombs to blast your way down right at the base of the pumpkin and then this is where the boss is going to be uh, and then the chest itself once that's destroyed that's what's going to actually drop the candy corn the only other method to get candy corn uh, is going to be if you're completing dungeons in the cursed veil the dungeon chest is going to have a random chance of not spawning and instead is going to spawn this mini boss that's called Toddstrom and when you defeat him he's going to drop candy corn as well as having a rare chance of dropping the mobile mummy mount which is a craftable mount that you can just craft at the hub anyways but if you end up just running into it randomly while you're in curse veil vale, that's actually not too bad the amount of candy corn you get is going to scale based on the difficulty of the world but honestly speaking you don't really gotta pay too much attention to it because we're in like just kind of a novice or well not really novice but it's like an adventure world just one of the really early ones right uh, and it ends up giving me two candy corn whereas if you go to U9 I seem to get like four it, generally speaking I'm not sure if the number varies or if it just stays solid but in any case those are the methods to get candy corn and pumpkins so thank you so much for watching hopefully you found this video helpful everybody I just wanted to have a quick one so you didn't have to siphon through my Shadows Eve event video uh, and just know the very quick, very easy method. Here's how you actually end up grinding these resources. Uh, shout out to Captain Red as well because I didn't even know that the Curse Veil could generate that pumpkin uh, plant dungeon. Uh, you know, I knew that they had it last year, but I didn't know that they actually had it this year because like I said, I was in Curse Veil for like an hour and I never found it. So I just kind of assumed it wasn't there and I was trying to rush the event video out. So, you know, I kind of overlooked it. But in any case, glad that we ended up finding it and being able to resolve it. Thanks so much for watching. Very much appreciate it. Sign Aura and stay epic, everybody.